So in its question, basically it's asking for the mass of lead to iodide that's produced from 2.89 moles of potassium iodide. So the first thing in the chemical reaction that you're going to want to do is ensure that all of the um, elements are going to be balanced and the compounds as well. So here you have on the left side your reactants, which is 2Ki plus PbNO32. And you want to make sure that you keep this NO3, this nitrate, a, um, you're going to want to make sure that you keep this a polyatomic ion. So it's not going to be each individual nitrogen, oxygen. It's going to have to be uh, the entire compound, B2 molecules. And that's going to yield lead to iodide and uh, potassium nitrate. So if you check on both sides, all the compounds are in fact balanced. So the next step that you're going to do is look at all of the information that you're given. So we know that we have 2.89 moles of potassium iodide. The next thing is what are we looking for? And we are looking for the mass of lead to iodide. So what you're going to do is kind of set up a proportion and compare in a ratio the amount of moles of potassium iodide with the moles of uh, lead to iodide. And so if you look on the left side, if you have two uh, moles of potassium iodide and you compare in moles the amount of um, lead, uh, lead to iodide that you have, that's a one to two ratio. So for every two moles of potassium iodide, you're going to have one mole of lead to iodide. Now, if we have um, two moles of potassium iodide for every one of lead, then what? how many moles of lead do we have of 2.89 moles of potassium iodide? So basically, you just multiply that ratio by 2.89 moles of the potassium to get your moles of uh, lead to iodide. And then you're going to take that value and you're going to convert it to grams per mole to get your mass of um, lead to iodide. So you also want to ensure that you're keeping your sig figs uh, intact because you only have you only start with three significant figures in the beginning of the problem. So you want to make sure that your answer ends up as three significant figures. Um, so that's why this is 1.45 moles of lead to iodide. And you want to convert that to grams per mole and you end up getting 668 grams per mole of lead to iodide. Also, the 461 just comes from the molar mass of lead, um, which is 206, oh, sorry, 207.2 grams per mole plus two um, iodine molecules, so 126.9 times two plus 207.2 gives you 461. So that's just where that value came from. Thank you.